Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here. The limit as x approaches a negative 2 from the right of 1 over x squared minus 4, and we have to evaluate this limit. Now, what's tricky here about this limit is, well, we can we only have a 1 in the numerator, and we're dividing by some expression that can be factored. So let's go factor that to get a better idea of what's going on here. So the limit here as x approaches negative 2 from the right of 1 over, and the denominator factors could be an x minus 2 and an x plus 2. And notice if we plug negative 2 in for x directly, we'll be dividing by a 0, and we don't like that. Okay, So with that having, we don't like that, we have to undertake what we know about limits here and try to understand what's going on here. Now I want to make a little table here. We have x and y, and I'm going to put in some values to see what happens as we approach negative 2 from the right. If negative 1 goes in for x, our output's a negative 1 third. If a negative 1.5 goes in for x, we get a negative 0.571, and of course I broke rules of fractions and decimals, but it's okay. A negative 1.99, we get a negative 25.06, and I use my calculator for these values. And a negative 1.999, we get a negative 250.1, and that's approximately. And what that shows us is as we get close to negative 2 from the right, we're approaching a negative infin infinity here, right? It's getting larger and larger, approaching negative infinity, which makes sense. We're pl putting in here a dividing by some zero, we know that's going to happen. Now, how can we also determine that without the table? Well, if we're dividing by a zero, we know it goes to some infinity, positive or negative. So we need to figure out if it's a positive or negative leading up to that infinity. So what I like to do is take a value just to the right of negative two and plug it in. We have one over a, well, let's go negative 1.9 is just to the right of negative two, minus two, and negative 1.9 plus two right here. So I plugged it in for both of those. And what happens? I'm only looking for, is this final result positive or negative? So the top number one is a positive. Here, negative 1.9 minus 2, we know is a negative number. And we're going to multiply that by, well, negative 1.9 plus 2 is a positive number. Negative times a positive is a negative. So we have positive over a negative here. And a positive divided by a negative, again, is a negative. And that tells us we're going to approach negative infinity here. So our final answer here for this limit is negative infinity. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.